Welcome to the SPSS demonstration video for Chapter 12, Correlation and Regression. I'm the author of your text, Richard Landers. In this video, we'll be exploring regression and correlation. We'll be mostly covering regression since that is, uh, that is going to give you substantially more detail about the relationship uh, between your variables. To conduct a regression, load the Analyze tool down to Regression and select Linear. There are many options here. Don't get confused. We're looking specifically at linear regression. Now we need to specify our x and y variables, our criterion, and our predictor. Cost, in this case, is our predictor, so we want that in the independent set, while percent profit is our dependent variable, uh, so is our criterion, so we want it up in the dependent set. Next, hit OK, and the output pane will pop up, which will provide you with information about uh, both correlation and regression. Uh, so you will see first correlation of 0.611 and an R squared of 0.373. Uh, you will also notice an ANOVA summary table. We're not going to pay much attention to that in the context of this text, uh, but your instructor uh, may. And in the coefficient section, you can actually find the information that you need to compute uh, the actual regression line. First, you're going to see the constant. That is the intercept in your regression model. Uh, and you're also going to see this number, uh, under, under, again, also under unstandardized coefficients, associated with your variable. So that means this is your slope. So we can summarize the regression line here as y prime equals 0 0.066x plus 39.369. Uh, so that's how you can derive your, uh, your regression line. We can also see a t statistic and values associated with the slope. This corresponds with the p-value associated with your correlation. So your correlation statistical significance, uh, it is statistically significant in this case, p equals 0 0.035. Note that SPSS also has a convenient, uh, another convenient way to analyze correlations or to look at correlations if you look at a lot of them, which is this analyze correlate bivariate. If you go here and select all the variables that you're interested in looking at correlations between and hit OK, you will get a, what's called a correlation matrix, where it, it examines uh, correlations at the intersection of multiple variables. So in this case, cost to client and increased profit are, appears twice because it's a, a full matrix. You see the 0.611 here and the 0.611 here as well. But that is the same correlation that appeared up top. And you also notice the significance of 0 0.035, that p-value is the same as the p-value presented here. So if you just need correlation, this might be a little faster and easier to interpret. Uh, if, you are, if you're going to use regression anyway, you might as well just do that analysis. So that's it. You now can conduct correlation and regression in SPSS. That's all for Chapter 12.